how California is not being like California. What up, world? Welcome back to another episode, yes, of Skinny's Rural. Guys, it's been raining in California, like on and off, literally for the past two months. And I feel like I owed some money back to me because I did not pay all this money in taxes to get this weather. It feels like Seattle. I don't like it. Without further ado, guys, hey, one first off, I wanna thank you guys for all the awesome wishes for the reveal video. This technically is the third video. Yes, the third video since I got a Lamborghini Huracan, and I am so pumped and excited that you guys loved it. And all the love I received, man, I really, truly, genuinely, really appreciate the love I received from you guys for congratulating me on getting that card because it was really hard work. It was earned. It took a long time, but I really do appreciate all the love you guys gave me. But this video, we have something sick planned. We had my boy Daniel actually called me randomly and said, hey, can you come by my shop? I need you to be there tomorrow. I have something dope I want you to see. And it can't be during the day. Weird. He wants to show me a car, but he can't show it to me during the day. And he said, it's, it won't be allowed to be turned on or be shown during the day. So I don't know what it is. I have no idea. He won't give me any hints. So hang on tight for this video to find out what crazy car or whatever he's gonna show me that can't be shown during the day. It's kind of weird. I'm actually kind of nervous. Like, what if I get kidnapped? I don't know. If this video doesn't come out, or if it does come out, that means I survived. I didn't get kidnapped. Before we do that, though, I want to also share the love with some of my close friends and family members who have not seen my car yet. So we're going to do a couple ride-alongs. We're going to do one today in the rainy day, and then the next day, which won't be a day for you guys, have some more family and friends over because it is Easter tomorrow. So when this video drops, happy Easter to all of you. You had a good Easter. I hope you enjoyed. Ate a lot. Relaxed. Without further ado, we got my best friend, my sister, from another Mr. Valerie, up in the mix. I'm so excited to show you this car, Val. I'm, I'm so pumped. excited. Are you? I know you've seen I'm... pictures, you've seen the reveal video, but seeing it in person is a whole other ball game. Beyond, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank is, you. This is so crazy, it's unbelievable. Oh, thank you, oh, so. I appreciate it. I know, you've been cheering <laughs> me on for a long time for this to happen. Yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna do a proper little reveal here. Come on, step, you gotta step up, step okay. up. Okay. Step to the, hopefully this garage door opener works. I've only used it like three times since I lived here, so hopefully, hopefully it works and doesn't ruin the surprise. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. That is, I can't. <laughs> is it sick or what? It's so sick, the color. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, oh my God, man. you did it, you did it. I, I, I don't it. see, when you see it, it sinks in, huh? <laughs> I know, I know. Every time I walk out in the garage every day, I'm like, I can't believe that this is in my garage and I freaking own a Lamborghini. Wait, what's the license plate gonna be? That's funny you ask. I have still, I'm gonna use my Batmobile one temporarily, but I've been kind of thinking, what do you, you guys let me know. Here are some options I'm thinking. My wife says I should do Slimer, oh. and then get like a Ghostbusters like license plate frame, right, with the little ghost in it, the circle. That one's number one on my list, I'm not gonna lie. Slimer, Jolly Rancher was someone threw out there at me. Mm -hmm. Hulk, but I don't think I like, I don't like that one. The one I really want, but I think someone has it in California, it's First Bull. So I know a guy who had her call a long time ago. He has an Aventador now, but he has First Bull for his license plate. You know he's on his second Lamborghini? I don't know if he's given that up yet. So I thought about First Bull. That's also what I want to. Or first, or first lamb. Okay. First L-A-M-B would be pretty That's sick too, one. if they're available. So you guys let me know, what do you guys think? Slimer, first lamb. If it's available, first bull. Like rate them like one through three. Let me know what you guys think, but. Yeah, I like Slimer. Slimer, it's pretty sick, huh? I'm yeah, not gonna that's, lie. that's That's pretty dope. dope. With the Ghostbusters license plate yeah. frame in the back? Yeah, that'd be pretty lit. Oh my God. First time in Lamborghini, right? It's my first time in Lamborghini. Man, let's go. And it's your bros, man. Buckle up, because you're going to need it. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, you're okay. going to need it. Lit, right? First drive in the Lamborghini. Let's go. <laughs> right, a little warmed up here. I won't go too nuts yet. A little, little, little downshift. Oh, my God. <laughs> Control is on. So if it was off, oh, we would have been like, all I over felt, the place. I felt a little. Oh, yeah, I felt yeah. a little bit. It's the real, real drive, man. You feel it. It's, so Lamborghini in general, like the tune, also the suspension is way different than the R8. It's a little bit more raw, quicker, faster, like it's a whole other freaking ball game. You don't know what to say, huh? I don't. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, when I was watching, <laughs> I was watching the, the video and even Rhett, like he had the biggest smile. Really? Oh. I was like, look at Uncle Chris's new car. Oh man. And he just, he loved it. He cannot wait to come oh, see it. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get my ride. Yeah. 
Oh, I oh can't my wait god, for that. he's gonna be so elated. Here we go, here we go. Woo! You know that? <laughs> That's that rear wheel drive. And traction control is on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shoot. Won the wet roads a little bit, but even if it wasn't wet, this yeah. car is so quick that it still would it would still get it though. I'm scared, but I just It's a crazy <laughs> difference though, right? It is. You can it's feel wild, it. Man. It's it's but it feels like it's in control. Yeah, it's yeah. just I'm not gonna lie, like I even thought I was even for the fact that I thought this car would ride exactly the same, it's a different shells yard, but it is I keep saying it guys, it is completely different of a driving experience and like just to feel it's 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 freaking sick it's dope i love it i won't stop smiling i, I know Where are you having college the green one what was it the mazda 323 the hatchback Ma mazda 323 <laughs> hatchback her nickname back in the day was kirby valentine because she was out my brother in la they were doing like audition for his reality show before reality show was big and she made a u-turn at like a center median like that and she went so tight over the center median that she ran over it boop, 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 boop. <laughs> She was eating like Valentine's Day candies. So my brother named her Kirby Valentine. Because oh she went over the curb. And I just kept land. driving like you didn't kept driving. Kept driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lambo time. Let's go. Woo! Dang. Your first time. Your friend since all the way up. <laughs> Valerie, way, there's she, way more yeah, space. Yeah, she's definitely not as uh, she's definitely not as uh, tall as you. She's a little bit shorter. Dude, your first time yeah. ever in a Lamborghini. Yes. Let's go. Two for two right now. Two for two. Oh, wait, first nope. Lamborghinis. I drove one at, uh, at Speed Vegas. Oh, uh, you cheated on me. Dang! Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. I'm super excited to take you for a ride. Just like too. Valerie, obviously, you're like my brother, and you're one of the ones who see me like try to work hard to get this dang car. Yes. We, we made it, man. Yes, you did. We made it. Let's go for a rip, man. I want to hear what you think. Because you rode in the R8 a lot with me. Yes, I did. I do. The rode with my road dog for a long time, especially when I really started vlogging like pretty consistently. Every rally, every drive, you're with me all the time. Yes, sir. And then you slowly just kind of like disappeared. But still, <laughs> you know what the R8 feels like. Yeah. Like you even drove the R8 one time. Actually, yes, we did, did a video yep. letting you drive like your dream car. Cause that was like one of your dream cars. Yep. You drive my R8. All right, first little pull. You ready? Let me know the difference here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, damn. I kept traction control on because it slides, baby. Rear wheel drive. Keep that in mind. Remember, the R8 was all wheel drive. So. <laughs> A little bit different. Yes. It's way more aggressive, isn't it? Oh yeah. So as a passenger, because you're in both cars, like just off one pull, like what's the difference in the feeling for you? Like just kind of describe that. So when you go from first to second, in the R8, it's a little bit more smoother, right? My head's still being thrown back, but in this one, like my head just, I can't move it up. <laughs> I, can't, I can't move it up. I can't, I can't, oh wait, hold on. Let me, let me rephrase that. No, you already said it, it's too late. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> Dude, you would be thankful for traction control. <laughs> this thing gets it. You still feel it a little bit pulling out, right? Yeah. Even I the love traction it. control. I love right? I love it too. It's the best feeling ever. What I haven't done in this car yet, I haven't done launch control yet. I feel like you might need to do some launch control. I haven't I haven't tried it yet in this car. I haven't. So you know what? You were the roll dog in the R8. It only makes it right to do the first launch control in the Huracan with you. Yes, let's, sir. Let's do it, let's do it. That was sick. That was dope. First launch control. Yo, it got a little squirrely, yo. <laughs> was it was like it. in place. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the ground, to be fair, the ground's still a little wet. Two, uh, come on, two-wheel yeah, drive. Let's sick, go. Rear-wheel drive is where it's yeah. at, everybody. I'm telling you, like, it literally was like, and then took off. That's sick. All right, California is still doing California things, and it is raining right now. I got to show this right off to my boy, P. Skittles, who's also been here since the beginning. Phil and I grew up in the IE together. Worked our butts off to kind of get her at, right? Grind and it. Grind it. Only makes it right that I got to show him 
what we what we've done. This is a we. This is a we. This is a we. Boom. This is a we. Let's get it. All right. Without further ado. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Lambo. What you think, man? Crazy. Name the Slimer fish. I name it Slimer. You looking at me? <laughs> oh my god. Delicious. <laughs> you like? You like? I like. I don't know what to do. So pull, pull, pull that. Pull that thing. Pull it out. There you go. There you go. Now you gotta be done with this. <laughs> Damn! That's the reaction I was hoping for. <laughs> Mama, we made it. <laughs> hey, flip that, flip that red plane up. up. Put your foot on the on the, on the brake and push that thing, man. There you go. Let's go. Woo! Shake it, baby. <laughs> Skitty's world. Let's go, man. All right, we're actually gonna. Go. One happy Easter, everybody. I know I said it earlier in the video that it was gonna be Easter. It's Easter today, that's why I'm wearing my pink. And my wife got sugar-free drinks. Could be the healthy choice. Boom! Thank you, yeah, we're, we're Boom! not. zero sugar! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so we're gonna Boom! go get some, we're gonna go get some sugar drinks right now. So we're going grocery shopping in the Lambo. So, you know what I'm saying? That's daily, that's daily driven type Boom, stuff. Boom, anybody that drinks zero sugar. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you stink. So one cool big difference between this and the R8, when the driveway is really steep, you got a front lift. Check this no. out. No. Yeah, then we go down. So I go out of here, no scrapies, all good, clear. Oh, and watch. Sick. Now look, look at the front, like green part of the hood right there. Okay. Just to sit back, relax, you'll see, you'll see it go down. Watch. Now we go down. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's like Magic Mountain. <laughs> it's like Magic Mountain. <laughs> Raining, so we won't go too ham. Yeah. It's wet out, but we'll give it a little bit of rain. Oh! 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 It goes. It goes. It goes. It goes. It goes. Oh! Now, if I put it in like race mode, which is Corsa, you'll feel the shift difference. Watch. Oh! Right? Hell yeah. It's like way more aggressive. That's came super And dead. it sounds way different too. Yeah. And that's 25% throttle. Only because it's oh, wet out. Geez. We'll keep it safe when it's wet out, but it's way different than the R8, isn't yeah. it? We're scaring the locals. <laughs> All right, we out here. You guys thought we were kidding. Not kidding, we came to get some drinks for ourselves for this party. And it is dumping on us right now. So we got to get these drinks in here and get back to the house. Cause it is, man, California is doing its thing on us right now. I don't know why I'm ducking like it's going to make it any better, but holy smoke. So if this was mine, this is how I'd be walking around. What'd you say? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Oh, how much money do I have? Oh, <laughs> well, where do I live? Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> that was authentic. Oh man. <laughs> Splash. <laughs> he had no idea. Oh my god. All right, all right. Putting the beast away. Man, what a joy it was to share this experience with my friends and my family. I'm telling you, like. Everyone that went and ride for me has all been along for this journey with me since the beginning. Like they all know my obsession with not just cars, but specifically getting a Lamborghini has always been on my mind since I first saw one. And just to share this experience is amazing. And once again, I wanna thank you guys again for all the support and the love you guys gave me from watching the reveal video. Man, it was really heartwarming that a lot of you guys were extremely excited and just stoked for me getting this car. It really means a lot. So won't let you guys down. We're gonna make this one of the baddest, craziest, funnest hero cons you'll see. I'll make it different. I know a lot of YouTubers have done Huracons. I'm gonna make mine look, feel, sound, and be appreciated a little bit different than all the others. Man, but don't click off this video, guys. We still have the surprise, I'm assuming it's a car, surprise car that my boy Danny is gonna show us in the middle of this video. So don't leave, because honestly, I have no idea. He actually sent me a text 
earlier saying, hey, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. Eight o'clock, be there. He just sent me a reminder. So hang on tight, man, because I have no idea what he has in store for me. I'm telling you, he is not the type of person to be like over jealous or like to be like, hey, I got something. Come here. He's very chilled, low key. So the fact that he's hit me up about three times about this means it's going to be pretty something special and something pretty crazy. So I'm going to put this thing away. Golly. Woo. Oh, golly. I love that thing. Man, I love this car. Wow, it is an empty lot right now. All these businesses are pretty much closed for the day. Like, it's eight o'clock at night right now and no one's here. And this is why I'm really excited because my boy does not call me randomly like that in the middle of the night or the middle of the day and say, hey, come stop by, I wanna show you something. So. We're here, it's eight o'clock, and waiting for him to pull up. I think he'll be here in any minute, but I am really stoked to see what he has in store for us today. Here he is now pulling up. Dang, and murdered out, all blacked out. Rolling up, gangster. This wasn't a, if this wasn't a BMW, man, I'd have been a little concerned. All murdered out. <laughs> Look, this car is sick, man. Yeah. What's up, man? Black on black. Dude, I'm excited, way. man. When you called me at randomly, you're like, Look, come stop by. I got something rare, very loud, and something you won't see running around the streets. I'm pumped. I don't want to say anything until people see it. Okay, 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 yeah, we'll explain when we see it. I'm excited, man. This is dope, like a random night, eight o'clock at night. It's gonna be something exciting, guys, or I'm gonna come up missing, so. This video does not come out, I'm missing. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, we got a cover on it. Holy, I'm pumped for this. Let's pull this thing off, man, what we got? Oh, snap. Holy smokes. Yo. This is crazy. Look at the exhaust sticking out the side. That is nuts. I can already tell this thing is gonna be extremely loud. Explain to us what the heck is going on. One, what is it? And how did you get, how did you find this? Cause you don't see these roaming around, at least set up like that anywhere. Uh, it's I very have, rare. I definitely didn't find it. Uh, <laughs> it found you? It found me, right? <laughs> what, what year is this car? What year is this one? Uh, this car, I believe, was uh, 1969. Oh, uh, Four-door sedan Skyline, so it's hey. not a GTR. Crazy. Uh, but it's such a wild thing, like it's left-hand drive, right? <laughs> so, and you, once we take the front end, you'll know why. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people that kind of like go and dance and yeah. look around and they're like, what the heck is going so, on? I mean, I know here, this car, I was, we don't we don't see this car over here in the States, but over in Japan, this is a rare car too. Though, it's still rare. I mean, think about it. So like these old uh, Hakosuka Skylines, as they're called, they're like Japan's 69 Camaro, you know? You don't nice. go doing this, right? The yeah. sacrilegious and then <laughs> put a four rotor in it, right? That's so imagine crazy. you pulled up with the 69 yeah, Camaro. Yeah, I can't wait to talk about the engine because like, <laughs> guys, the cost of, I'll say the car because of the engine is wild. We'll get there in a second. I just want to rewind to see. So it's a four door car, right? That's but, nuts. So they shaved everything down and made it too. That's wild. Like, so all the engineering, all the work that went in here, it's pretty, dude, that's pretty intense. That's crazy. We had uh, uh, some uh, Nismo mechanics do metal work inside. That's nuts. Look at, guys, look at this. Uh, you can see the two oh. low tech. I don't know if you can catch. Oh, right, the, the gold ones? Yes. Yeah, so yep, I see them right there. No way. Uh, so how much how much horsepower does it have? The horsepower, I'd have to look at the spec sheet on this one. You think it's over a thousand, easy? I don't think it's over a thousand because it's naturally aspirated. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but I know the red line, the red line's capped out at 16,000, but it's brought back down, I think, uh, right now. Did you say 16,000? Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, rotaries are known to do some wild RPM. It's That's it's, crazy. 16,000, just rewind that back. Like my Huracan doesn't even go to nine. It's about <laughs> eight and a quarter. This thing revs to 16,000. The owner, for a lot of people that don't know, the company's called Bonsai Racing Equip. It's a BRE from Japan. Wow. You can see some Look of at the this. Work on the door panels. Holy smokes. Name. Uh, wow. 
They set up quite a bit of a race cars in Japan. Been, uh, Mr. Moto is the owner. He's been doing it for quite some time. Um, once we get, it's a, basically a one piece front end. So we'll have to take this apart. Uh, two people it's kind of hard to do it by yourself holy smoke and then you'll get to see it uh the engineer here is a four rotor actually i talked to uh, rob dom a while ago too about you know coming out here and um, basically filming the vehicle these are you know he's pretty well known in the rotary world uh this car was driven by robbie nishida in japan it's a formula d judge a lot of guys know him if you're into the drift stuff the car has actually some pretty wild specs uh, at least when the mr moto had told me originally the, he said, you know, I want to do road racing with it. A little bit of background on him. He's an older guy, but he was a Bozo Zoku guy in his older, younger days. But he still nonetheless loved that Japanese gangster style, yeah. as I kind of call it, right? Um, and he just kind of carried this over to this vehicle. This car did have, it did transform from uh, another styling you had before, a different engine. Yeah. But he goes, you know what? I want to do something crazy. And uh, they went with the four rotor. That's I mean, crazy. It, yeah. Underneath, I guess we'll go, uh, it'd be better if we light it underneath because yeah. a lot of the metal work and the fab work into the, the car is just top notch. And it's just you expect from Japanese quality. It's pretty cool that, you know, all this stuff is no stick. It's just paint, you know. So, well, that's no stickers. Yeah, it's, just, Holy it's all paint. smokes. Yeah, it's that's all paint, wild. you know, there's no wrap. Yeah, I got that's I got it wild. He goes, is this a wrap? And I go, <laughs> Cause it's so clean, like it's almost so clean that you would think it would be a wrap. Yeah, but if you look it's around, I mean, I, you know, it, it's been put, put through the paste. I mean, there's just Holy dirty all over smokes. the place. Last year, um, I do stuff with uh, George from Clean Culture, and there was an event over there uh, done in Japan. He showed up with the vehicle. They started doing the two-step stuff. Yeah. At the car. Oh, man, it was, uh, if anybody saw any of the videos, you should look it up. There was this vehicle, another vehicle, yeah. and the right side vehicle had <laughs> a girl wearing a skirt. She's sitting down on the side on the other car, right? What? And, wow. uh, yeah, it was. This, and so he starts two stepping this thing. The girl's skirt goes up, and the whole audience went wild. Oh, yeah, oh, it was oh, it was the coolest gosh. thing ever. And uh, but yeah, I, uh, I've been working myself for about yeah. eleven years in Japan, so I speak Japanese. Yeah. Um, so I'm able to, uh, you know, work with these guys and translate when they need stuff. I think it's it's pretty special that these guys are willing to ship a car to show yeah. people. I mean, this is not cheap. <laughs> no. Okay. So yeah. Let's, so, let's, let's talk about because you told me you had like a well, like a million dollar car, right? So right. a lot of people are gonna be like. This car is not a million dollars. Explain why this thing is a million, actually over a million dollars, worth over a million. All the work, um, obviously they don't they don't have half a million into it. Okay. They have less. Gotcha. However, but then we start considering labor, the people that uh, were in this project. Uh, when the vehicle had to get insured to come down here, that's when they said the value of this vehicle is now approaching half a million. Because you gotta get insurance to bring it on a container. Yeah. So how would you know? So you have to actually get a company to appraise the vehicle. <laughs> Anybody can make a price up, but you actually have True. to like legitimately, yeah. you know, professionally get the car uh, appraised. So then you put it in the container, you can get insurance. Wow. That's what the vehicle was rounding up to about that price. So that's how they knew where the, the estimate uh, where the price was on the vehicle. That's crazy. Were you telling me earlier about the, about the engine? You were saying something about the engine earlier. The engine was built uh, in a company in Australia that I believe does all the machining also for Mad Mike. It's just pretty mental what these guys do with the rotaries. They just keep stacking them and stacking them. So I always <laughs> used to say, you know, you get the original rotary engines. It's like, imagine two Doritos and a stick spinning yeah. around, right? Two little triangles. Well, now imagine that longer stick with four Doritos. <laughs> so, and another guy was like, yeah, it's probably like welding, you know, two yeah. LS V8 engines together. And I was like, yeah, it could be like that. So I was gonna say, I was gonna say, explain that to what they're, kind of what you mean by that. So it's like taking two LS engines, you put them together like that, right? Right, right. yeah. Like a V. Kind of, <laughs> which is wild. <laughs> but one thing you can hear, and I think you hear the car. In person. And you hear it, yeah, yeah. You, you hear it on video, later on turn on. When you can actually, hear it and drive you like what the hell That's nice. yeah i mean uh you know being, <laughs> super cool. yeah being here in the warehouse we turn it on outside wherever we do it's literally two blocks down the car alarms are gonna go off oh guaranteed <laughs> guaranteed wow. get guaranteed yeah not even holy smokes yeah trying to add some extra spice to it right <laughs> if you go through the whole car uh, you can't really see through the wheels like the brake system it's a bre the wheels made by Liberty Walk for BRE. Wow. He wanted an old school custom look. These are not steel. 
Now these are magnesium. So they have the old school look, but they're magnesium wheels. Wow. So uh, that's wild. Another fun fact, I guess, for the car, I thought those was like really weird when he said, he goes, all these cars are available, or all these car parts that are on this are available. I think the fender flares are the only thing that you can actually buy. Everything else, you had made a part number, put on the website, <laughs> and then put sold out. Wow. So he made it one and then sold out. That's crazy. So, you know, kind of give it that rarity factor that yeah. it's just the only one. But do a, like a NASCAR style quick change your end. Yeah. And you can really kind of see it down here. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, this is. What? Yeah, you pop the cover off, change the gearing according to the racetrack. Everything had to be boxed up because just the car at the power levels that it's at. But Yo. you can see the suspension, like all. Like right there, you can see how boxed up it is on the control arm. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Young guy, wow. And all the brakes, like I said, um, it's because it's got a hydro. So, you know, it's got the two caliper setup, but it's all from the company BRE. So, wait, so you're saying this is all like a NASCAR race car type setup? Yeah, right yeah, yeah. I mean, that was pretty common for the, the drift guys to use that. <laughs> Literally yeah. on the ground, guys, getting this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried looking at a KW suspension for my, my R8 when I had it. And dang, it was, it's good $10,000, $12,000. Yeah, and uh, in the case of this car, he paid their engineers to come out to Japan, scale the vehicle, no do all the measurements, and make it for this car. Wow. Yeah, so. That's wild. So, so a true one-of-one -one suspension, yeah. literally. You know how long this, do you know how long the build took, like, to completion? Yeah, so it was around, they said around two and a half years. Yeah, and it was just a non-stop thing. So it wasn't like the build took time. Yeah. The chassis got acid dipped. Went through the powder coater, no got way. the metal work. Yeah, any panels that were rusted had to get replaced. No way. Yeah, the whole, a lot of the front <laughs> stuff was rusted and they got to find Wow. It. So if a lot of people were, uh, and so there is no Bondo on the car. Yeah, I noticed that. So the, yeah, literally like they went back. So any divot that was on there, uh, anybody that's into metal work, they'd know how many, how much amount of hours they spent into this. But like this whole roof that was chopped up, metal work to put back on to wow. look like glass so i mean like i That's said you know it, we always hear about japanese quality i think this is like a good specimen to yeah to show that to Jeez, you guys i hope you guys are really appreciating this like it's a uh, i know it's a lot of info to take in but the time like the detail to make this car what it is it's pretty wild. You can tell that's probably why. Obviously, it's quoted to be so expensive. Like you said, the man hours. Like, as you're explaining it, I can understand. Yeah, that's and nuts. you start looking at the partnership, like I said, Liberty Walk on the wheels. Yep. It just keeps on rolling, going, going, going. So everything starts adding up. So this whole thing has to come off. Yeah, the front end is a one piece. So actually, what? turn this camera off, please, oh, and yes. uh, give me a hand. Holy <laughs> smokes. I'm on my prime, I'm feeling like Steph. I get my shot and I promise it's wet. Waited too long, but I told him I'm next. So the reason I couldn't fit left and right because you can't fit the steering column. Like you sure can. so damn big in the exhaust manifold. Dude, this thing is out of, I have no, holy smokes. Dude. It's got a wise fab set up too. So like I said, original, he said, you know, we're gonna just go and road race this thing. And then he said, you know what? I think I wanna drift this. And so <laughs> that's where they got robbing the sheet of somebody under the, you know. You're going to drift a half a million dollar worth valued car. Yeah, we might have Michael Essa, huh? Take this over there. Oh, dude, he was freaking <laughs> losing. He would love like, it. Auto body's right. So one runner uh, per rotor, that means that makes it a four rotor in this one. Because a lot of people look at it and they're like, okay, I don't know what, what's, going on, what's going on here. Uh, drive by wire setup. Obviously the, the four BRE, like again, another custom setup. Dry sump setup, so the dry sump pump is here. The tank's inside the car. Yeah, the suspension. This is crazy. Look at the setup. Yeah. Oh my. One thing you can't see on like all this work. Yeah. Is the in the inner strength that's done in the rails going across through the whole body. Wow. Because they knew this car was going to get flexed. Look at which we will hear when you started is look at this freaking <laughs> exhaust. Get out. In a roll the door. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. They're saying that it will pierce your ears. He did say outside, it goes down about three blocks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right.
God. Yo. Yo, what? They knock it over. They legit knock it over. Oh my gosh. This Yo! So this is like, yeah, I mean, this is like, Yo! What? It knocked the plant fixture over. Oh my gosh! Yeah, there's no way you're driving that around. Not happening. So, just to just, uh, recap the beginning of this conversation, <laughs> when uh, Mr. Moto, the owner of the car, said, Hey, Daniel, can you register this car for me? I want to drive it in California. <laughs> and I was like, Man, you're gonna have to get another guy to do that. There's no way. And also rewind back to the skirt story. I see how her skirt flew up when you started. Oh yeah. I wanna see if anyone if anyone's even here, they'd probably run over here. I wanna know what the heck is going on. Luckily everybody's gone for the day. Cause holy I understand why you said come at night. You specifically said we're doing this at night, eight o'clock. I wanted to come during the day and you're like, nope, we gotta come at night. I 120% understand. Respectful for like all the factory. I'm not even joking, my ear, I still feel like it's yeah, mine, on. like ringing a little bit. I feel like it's still going. I, I feel I, a rumble I, in my I, ear. Holy! That's that's louder than a NASCAR. Yeah. Literally, that is loud. Hands down, I've been next to a NASCAR car more than a few times, guys. That is louder than a NASCAR. All right. I hope it's probably not gonna catch it on camera. Yeah. When I play this back, I guarantee you guys gonna be able to catch it. It might even distort the dang microphone for all I know. Cause yeah. holy crap, that was ridiculous. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. So you can see. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was wild. Makes sense. Skinny's wild.